Well, a very warm welcome to everyone today and Merry Christmas. Welcome to St. Aidan's to our parish mass for the final mass of Christmas today here in St. Aidan's. You're very welcome. I invite you to join as well as you can in the singing and we all have little hymn books, sheets rather. If you don't have them, there are tons of them at the back of the church. Please do your best to join in and give glory to God with the angels, with the shepherds, with Mary and Joseph and give glory to God on this most holy day, the feast of the birth of our Saviour. We welcome Don, who's going to lead us in the organ music today. Thank you, Don. And our opening hymn will be number nine, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. So let's stand for our opening hymn, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. A child is born for us, and a son is given to us. His scepter of power rests on his shoulder, and his name will be called Messenger of Great Counsel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. Merry Christmas, everyone. Warm welcome to you all to St. Aidan's Church on this festive morning, the feast of the birth of our Saviour. He is the Prince of Peace who brings peace to your heart. And I invite you in this Mass today, those of you here present in St. Aidan's and all of you watching at home, to pray that the peace of the Lord may enter your heart today. Cast away your fear, your doubt, your worries, and bring you peace, and bring you new faith and new hope to your hearts. My brothers and sisters, let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries of our faith. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Christ, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. With the angels we sing, glory to God in the highest, 
and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O God, who wonderfully created the dignity of human nature, and still more wonderfully restored it, grant, we pray, that we may share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let's be seated now and listen to the word of God. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of one who brings good news, who heralds peace, brings happiness, proclaims salvation, and tells Zion, your God is king. Listen, your watchmen raise their voices. They shout for joy together, for they see the Lord face to face as he returns to Zion. Break into shouts of joy together, you ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord is consoling his people, redeeming Jerusalem. The Lord bears his holy arm in the sight of all the nations and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. All, All the, the ends, ends of the, of the earth, earth have seen, have seen the, salvation the salvation of our God. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth for the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, ring out your joy. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing psalms to the Lord with a harp, with the sound of music, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Acclaim the King, the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. The second reading is a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. At various times in the past, and in various different ways, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. But in our own time, the last days, he has spoken to us through his Son, the Son that he has appointed to inherit everything, and through whom he made everything there is. He is the radiant light of God's glory, and the perfect copy of his nature sustaining the universe by his powerful command. And now that he has destroyed the defilement of sin, he has gone to take his place in heaven at the right hand of divine majesty. 
So he is now as far above the angels as the title which he has inherited is higher than their own name. God has never said to any angel, you are my son, today I have become your father, or I will be a father to him and he a son to me. Again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, let all the angels of God worship him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to claim the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A hallowed day has dawned upon us. Come, you nations, worship the Lord, for today a great light has shone down upon the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things came to be. Not one thing had its being, but through him. All that came to be had life in him. And that life was the light of men, a light that shines in the dark, a light that darkness cannot overpower. A man came sent by God, his name was John. He came as a witness, as a witness to speak for the light, so that everyone might believe through him. He was not the light, only a witness to speak for the light. The Word was the true light that enlightens all men. And he was coming into the world. He was in the world that had its being through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own domain, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To all who believe in the name of him, who is born not out of human stock or urge of the flesh or will of man, but of God himself. The Word became flesh. He lived among us, and we saw his glory, the glory that is his as the only Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. John appears as his witness. He proclaims, This is the one of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks before me, because he existed before me. Indeed, From his fullness we have all of us received, yes, grace in return for grace. Since though the law was given through Moses, grace and truth have come through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is only the Son who is nearest to the Father's heart who has made him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please have a seat. The angel Gabriel said unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary. These words spoken, my brothers and sisters, by the angel Gabriel to Mary nine months before the birth of her son, are also spoken to us on the day, this day, when we celebrate the birth of Jesus, our beloved Son. My dear friends, we have been all getting worried by the news that the COVID variant is now at full strength in our country. Many of us are now quite anxious and afraid. Some of you have chosen to stay at home for fear of catching this virus. We all need to be reassured that we will be safe when we come into church, we wear masks and we sanitize and we are um, respectfully distant from one another so that we can be safe and feel safe. Yes, by observing caution and employing prudence, 
we will be protected from this virus. But yet, this sometimes does not calm us down. We still sometimes feel anxiety, perhaps even as we sit on these benches today. What we need to hear is a different kind of news. Some good news for a change. And there is good news to hear on this sacred day. It is proclaimed by the angels. The shepherds hear the message of the angels in their fields. Do not be afraid, for today I, give, I bring you good news of great joy. For today, in the town of Bethlehem, a saviour has been born to you. The angels proclaim, do not be afraid, God is with us. My brothers and sisters, God has been at work in the world since its creation. He fashioned Adam and Eve, making our first parents in his own image and likeness. And even when they disobeyed his, their loving father, God the Creator, he promised that he would send one who would crush the head of the serpent and restore the lost friendship between God and humanity. The ancient authors tell us that when God fashioned Adam's face, he saw in Adam's face the face of his own beloved divine son, yet to be born. On this holy day, we behold the mystery of God made man, of Christ who was born. What does this mystery tell us? It is the good news that God has never abandoned us and will never, ever leave us. So do not be afraid. The Lord is with you. At every Mass, the priest says, The Lord be with you. These words are not just a prayer of the priest for the Lord to be with you. It is also a proclamation that the Lord is with you. It is a recognition of the fact that God has never abandoned us. If this is so, says St. Paul, then nothing can come between us and the love of God made visible in Christ Jesus. How then do we respond to this good news? Mary and Joseph show us. Be it done unto me according to thy word. In other words, Lord, I accept your plan for me, for what you ask of me, just as you asked Mary and Joseph to place their trust in you, to step out into an unknown future with many difficulties and many anxieties. But they were told, do not be afraid. The Lord is with you. My brothers and sisters, when we pray to our Father, we say, Thy will be done, thy kingdom come. And in this prayer, which we say daily, we offer our lives back to God, who gave us the precious gift of life. And when we live our life intending to give glory to God, he brings into our hearts a peace and a joy that the world cannot give. So the good news for you today, my brothers and sisters, is do not be afraid. The Lord is with you. Every time you pray the Hail Mary, remember that the angel's message is also direct to you, that you may be filled with grace through the prayers of Our Lady and the saints, through the grace of your baptism, through your own good deeds and efforts. May you be filled this holy day, my brothers and sisters, with the grace of the presence of Christ. Hear and be glad at the angel's voice. Rejoice because in the town of Bethlehem, Jesus Emmanuel is God with us, the Savior born for us this day, who brings to us, to our world, to our hearts, his peace, his mercy his courage and endurance, his love and his own joy, which the world cannot give. For truly, 
The Lord is with us. Jesus Emmanuel, God who is with us always and forever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us stand now to profess our faith in God's love for us. And at the words of the Incarnation, we genuflect in reverence of the mystery of this day of the Word made flesh. I believe in God, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father, before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again in the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. In this holy day, we ask the Lord to hear our prayers, the prayers of our hearts and our prayers for the world. We pray for Pope Francis, Bishop John and all the bishops. Like the first shepherds to greet our Lord's birth, may they be strong and fatherly shepherds of the flock of Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our parish community and for our families and friends. May the peace and gentleness of Christ dwell in our hearts and shine out to all the world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for an end to the pandemic, that we may be allowed to return to our normal way of life, living our lives in peace and service of our neighbour. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the poor and downtrodden, for those without homes and refugees. May we welcome them and look after them in the name of Jesus, who was born in a manger. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who are suffering in mind or body, that the healing love of the newborn King may bring them peace and strength to carry their cross and help them know Christ's love for them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our world. May all nations come to adore Christ, the Prince of Peace, and live in justice and peace with one another. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who have died in the peace of Christ. May they come to know the fullness of life in heaven, which Christ has won for us by his death and rising to new life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. With Mary, the mother of our Saviour and King, we pray. Hail Mary, Hail Mary, full of, full of grace, grace, the Lord, the Lord is, with is with thee. Blessed Bless art thou among women, women, and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Let us pray, Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people who gather on this holy day to celebrate the birth of your divine Son. May his coming into our world bring us peace, joy, and hope. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Please have a seat now. Thank you. With the shepherds now, we adore the newborn king and we come to the little town of Bethlehem as we sing together hymn number six in our hymn sheets, O Little Town of Bethlehem.
Let us stand and pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Make acceptable, O Lord, our oblation on this solemn day when you manifested the reconciliation that makes us wholly pleasing in your sight and inaugurated for us the fullness of divine worship through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with the angels and archangels, thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, that you may become for you the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim. 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John the Baptist, St. Aidan, St. Anthony, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's show a sign of peace to one another. Peace be with you, Christopher. Jesus, Lamb of God,
grant us peace. An act of spiritual communion for those joining us through social media, especially those who are having to isolate at this time. Lord Jesus, although I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually now into my heart and soul. Take away my fear and anxiety and fill me with your peace on this most holy day, the day of your birth. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. He has taken away our fear and filled us with his peace.
Christmas is a time for our children, but it is also a time for adults. We are all children at heart, especially at Christmas. So let's sing that very beautiful hymn that the children sing. That is also a hymn of praise from the depth of our hearts. Hymn number five in your hymn sheets, Away in a Manger. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that just as the Saviour of the world, born this day, is the author of divine regeneration for us, so may he be the giver even of immortality, who lives and reigns forever and ever. So I would just like to thank all of you for joining us for this lovely celebration of Christmas Day Mass and for taking the courage to come here, even though uh, it may be, for some of you, uh, a bit of a fearful exercise. I hope you have felt very much at peace here today and that you have enjoyed the celebration of our Christmas Mass. A very warm welcome, uh, blessing rather, to all of you at home who are joining us by means of social media. And we wish you and all your loved ones a very blessed Christmas Day. I would just like to thank everyone who has helped prepare the church so beautifully for our Christmas celebrations those that prepared the crib, those that took many hours to clean the church and to keep it, uh, to make it safe for us to use, and to thank our server Christopher, our sacristans, our organist Dawn, and all our past keepers, and to thank all of you for joining us so prayerfully in our Christmas Mass. I pray that you may enjoy the rest of your Christmas day now, and that the Lord may bless you with peace, with prosperity and health for the coming new year. On behalf of Monsignor Monaghan and myself, Merry Christmas. The Lord be with you.
May Almighty God bless you and fill you with his peace, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. And as you leave the church with joy, let's sing our final traditional hymn, Ades Fikideles, which is number one in our carol sheet. Oh,